Hi guys, I am so, so happy that you're here. We're on day 16 and I can't believe it. It's almost sad. Um, I've loved our times together in the morning, so we'll definitely have to do this again. And um, to anyone that's new, make sure you check out the description box below this video. You just click on show more and you can get this the printables as well as the devotional for free. So I encourage you to come do it with us. Even if you're behind, the videos will stay up forever. And as long as I can, I will keep the devotional up as well. So um, I want everyone to have it. So tell your friends. <laughs> Before we get started, today we are going to be talking about gentleness. And let's go ahead and get started with a word of prayer first. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for all of the blessings that are around us, for all the doors that you've opened and those that you've closed because you know better. You go before us and you set out provisions for us, even when we don't ask because it's in our heart and you want what's best for us. And we just thank you so much for that, that we can serve a God that is so loving and caring and knows every hair on our head. Isn't that amazing? So amazing. Thank you. We thank you so much for Jesus, for his gift that he gave to us so that we can have this relationship with you. We thank you for just everything, our families, and just this time that we've had together. Lord, I pray that as we delve deeper into your word, that you open our hearts and open our minds and that you keep that at the forefront of our thoughts. Lord, I pray for protection over everyone that is listening today. And I pray that you cover them in the blood of Jesus and that you keep them protected, that you shower them with your love, fill them with your peace, that they want nothing. Lord, I pray that you answer prayers really big today, Lord, of healing, of dependence, of financial dependence, of comfort of taking away anxiety that those things that you have told us that if we ask and we believe and we have faith that you will answer and we just thank you for that we ask all of this in Jesus sweet name amen although I am emotional that this devotion is coming to an end you can probably hear an excitement in my voice and that is because when I was doing the journal with me, I was writing down the verse, which is Titus 3, 2, and it says to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. When I tell you guys that this is what I was praying about this morning, and I was asking God to speak to me and tell me how there's times that I see things that I, I know that are wrong, that are not pleasing to God, that people that say that they're believers and the way that they act, and how am I supposed to deal with that? Like, how am I supposed to go on and not do something about that? That was my conversation this morning. And then today, when I was writing down the verse, I was like, wow, God, you are so amazing because you knew that I needed to hear this today. And then it came to me that God wrote this through me a month ago or however long ago. And I had no idea that I needed this today, but God did. And isn't that awesome? Also, I wanted to encourage you, if you're seeing prayers being answered, leave them down in the comments below because we need to shout it out from the rooftops like David and say, this is what God has done for me. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. Today's a little bit longer than, than usual. So in our daily lives, we can cultivate gentleness by being mindful of our words and actions towards others. We can choose to respond with kindness even when we're provoked and challenged. We can seek to understand others, to show empathy, and to offer comfort and encouragement. We can also practice self-control, avoiding impulsive reactions or harsh judgments. Gentleness requires humility, surrendering our own ego and our own agenda, and allowing God's love and grace to flow through us. 
Wow. Here's some steps that we can take to let gentleness flow from us. Number one, we're going to pray for the fruit of gentleness, asking God to develop it as a virtue of gentleness in our hearts to help us grow in humility and meekness. We're going to be mindful of our words and actions. And before speaking or acting, we're going to pause and consider if those words or actions are kind and gentle. We're going to avoid responding impulsively and harshly, and instead, we're going to choose to be patient and compassionate. We're going to practice empathy and understanding, to seek out to understand others' perspectives and emotions, and to show empathy towards their struggles and challenges, to offer them comfort, encouragement, and support rather than criticism and judgment. We're going to extend forgiveness and grace. We're going to choose to forgive others even when they hurt or offend us. We're going to show grace and mercy just as God has shown us. And we're going to be willing to reconcile and restore relationships with a gentle and humble spirit. And lastly, we're going to surrender our ego and our agendas. We're going to let go of the need to control or dominate others, and instead humbly submit to God's will and purpose for us. We're going to allow God's love and his grace to flow through us, and we're going to be able to serve others with gentleness and humility.